Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to this week's edition of Forex Forecast. I come on here every week to give you guys heads up for the week. I come on here to give you guys amazing juicy setups for every single week. Last week I predicted five currencies for you guys, and the five currencies I predicted all smashed take profit. If you follow me here last week, would have met you'll be swimming in a lot of money as of right now okay so this week i'm going to give you guys another five amazing setups for the week if this is the first time on this channel or this is the first time seeing my face or you are yet to subscribe to this channel even if you've seen me many times subscribe right now click on the subscribe button and like this video do well to also share and drop a positive comment if you learn anything from this weekly analysis i do for you guys every week do well to um, leave a positive comment let's dive right into this week's um analysis so this week is nfp week is going to be crazy you guys know that um monday tuesday wednesday is quite very very you know it's very calm in the market no major news events up until thursday and friday on thursday we, we are not going to be expecting a lot of movement on thursday because market will likely be pricing in for the nfp uh, in preparation of the release of data so on friday is going to be the big day but however if you listen to what i'm going to be teaching you um, right now the things i'll be sharing with you you'll be making a lot of money with or without the nft okay so it's going to be an amazing time with you guys again um on this week's analysis so let's start off with the euro usd so euro usd was one of the currencies i shared with you guys last week um let me let me go ahead and remove all the structures here so last week i told you guys that euro usd was going to drop which it did I actually took some trade on this i think i called a signal on this if you're not on the signal group the link is on the description we have a signal channel that you can join and make money with us all the analysis i give you guys every week i call signals on them on the group so join the telegram channel it's the link is on the description okay so um let's start our analysis of euro usd from the from the uh from the daily time frame so i shared you guys i showed you guys this zone right here this 1.57 1.0578 zone i told you guys that this market is likely going to be headed to retest that zone again which is like it's it's actually what is happening right now now we're experiencing this very slight resistance uh support sorry which likely won't hold the market for that long so what are we expecting on this of course i'm expecting this this market to keep falling but this is my zone this is where i'm looking for. this is my zone of interest if we put this on the forward time frame i just want this market to retrace once again as usual i want this market to retrace give me another top on this um a liquidity grab will probably happen here very pro that, that's very that's very possible it might happen i look forward to this market going by retesting this previous resistance here probably breaking above this resistance here before dropping okay so that's what i'm looking out for on the uh what's happening where's my chart what just happened okay good so we're back <laughs> sorry <laughs> so i'm looking forward to this market you know just keep dropping but i'll wait for a liquidity grab to probably happen here it's very possible that will likely happen so when this market retraces it back to this zone and gives me my 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 regular um you know my favorite um entry candlestick patterns i'll be entering this market and i'll be selling this market so guys this is where we are headed to it's going to be a long sell it's going to be a long drop going the market will just do some liquidity grab in order to get enough steam to keep moving all the way down but ultimately this is where we're heading to okay we're going to the 1.0578 zone that's like over 200 pips drop on this particular currency pair so amazing opportunity right there so euro usd and bearish uh, um for next week okay so aud card aud card um is one of the currencies that's to there last week if I, I think i called a signal to an aud card um like i said if you're not on telegram channel please join the telegram channel the link is on the description okay so um let me go ahead and delete this i told you guys that if i showed you guys this zone 0 0.88870 zone i told you guys that the market was going to come right here which it smashed right through that zone and this is what we have so far so what are we looking out for on this market i'm i'm still hoping that this market will likely still drop up until this zone okay it's still going to drop to the 0 0.8760 zone so there's a lot of uh, you know pips to grab to the downside but of course it's too late to be selling at this point you would likely the best approach to trade this market right now is to wait for a retracement to happen wait for retracement to happen you know to re market retrace back to this zone or um if you're very aggressive you can actually be looking at this zone right here 
for your re-entry okay either we're looking at this zone right here this resistance zone right here our previous support um turn resistance here or you're looking at for this zone but i will not be selling this market right here i'll be waiting for this market to get back to this zone if i'm lucky enough and it gets back to this zone that will really be amazing for me to push this market all the way down and if you want to put a fibonacci to this let's put a fibonacci let's see from here so let's see let's say this market retraces back up to the 50 percent zone up to the 50 percent zone is a good enough zone to start selling while well, we're waiting for the 61.8 for me to push this market all the way down so i'm very very bearish on the aud card okay i'm looking forward to sell this market on the aud card so that's my bias my bias on the aud card is actually bearish okay so let's look at the gbpchf gbpchf is a currency pair that i think we've not analyzed in a while i've not traded gbpchf in like three weeks now i think um because it's it's been quite choppy look at the daily candlestick patterns and it's just been ranging and it's it's forming this descending triangle which is sometimes can really be scary but if you draw a, if you put a trend line to this let's put a trend line of our you can see something that might interest you so on the four hours you can see this trend line has it tested multiple times has been you know working more for multiple times and it's looking like this market is heading to this zone i already marked that for you i think like three weeks ago this 1.1097 zone that's what we're likely headed to so what i'm waiting for this market right now is a very very brief retracement i just want the market to retrace a little bit more give me an entry somewhere here this is where i'll likely want to enter somewhere here so if i get my favorite candlestick patterns right here i'll be pushing this market all the way down to this zone right here okay so this is what i'm looking out for on the gbp chf i'm very very bearish but that would depend on if i get my favorite um you know candlestick entry patterns okay so for the gbp chf i'm bearish okay so let's go over to the usdjpy usdjpy is another candle is another one i predicted for you guys last week i told you guys when this market was somewhere here one two three four five now this was where the market was as of last week here right here this was when i told you guys that this market was still going to go bullish and of course it went crazy went crazy man went crazy just went crazy and still bullying you know all the way up okay so what i'm still looking out for this market is still i'm still very bullish on the usdjpy let me just get this replay out of the way so i i showed you guys this zone i think was um you know last week or two weeks ago i told you guys that this market is likely headed to the 141.97 zone after that our next bus stop is likely to be up, up about the 148.78 zone that's what we're looking at you know to maybe for a final bus stop right so but however on the four hour time frame i'll definitely be waiting for a retracement to happen the market has moved too far but because this trend is very very strong i'll be following this on a one hour time frame i'll probably not be doing this on a four hour time frame because the trend is really strong so i don't want to miss out i don't want to be too lousy waiting on a four hour time frame while the whole action is happening on the four hour time frame so what i would likely wait for now is for a retracement because of course it's it's be very foolish to be buying at this point okay you wait for the market to retrace 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 can use the fibonacci too if that's your favorite way of trading use the fibonacci if this market i'll be waiting for a retracement to 61.8 i won't be taking the risk to buy from 50 percent in fact if the market retraces to 100 percent i'll be very very glad because that would be that would look better on the four hour time frame okay but i'll be waiting for a, a retracement to happen to about this zone right here about this zone either this or if we can be able to market retrace to this ah uh, that would be a very good entry as far as my trading style is concerned. If you can get retracement to 139.71 or the 138.86 zone, that would be an amazing place to start and you know jump on a buy again on the USDJPY. So um, that's what I'm expecting on the USDJPY. I'm still very much bullish. Now let's go over to gold. Gold is another currency I predicted for you guys last week. I told you guys that gold was going to fall. In fact, I was too specific. I even told you guys that the gold was going to come over here and do another liquidity grab, which happened as of on Wednesday. On Wednesday, it rallied upwards again, did another set of liquidity grab, then started heading down. I showed you guys this zone, 193, 1935.49 zone. I showed you guys, I told you guys that's our first target. And as you can see, it was pretty taken out as of last week. So our second target right now is 191. 
4.13 zone okay so that's what we're heading for i'm very hopeful that we'll smash that zone um this week so what are we looking out for now this zone right here of course this is a no-brainer this right here is where we are looking out for for our next target so if this market comes over here you'll be very patient because of course like i told you guys this is a high probability zone for liquidity grabs to happen okay so let's go up this market will likely push up stop out all the people that needs to be shaken out of this market before you know pushing all the way down to uh, our first targets here and then our second targets here so this is what we're looking out for on the on gold okay this is what i'm hoping to see on gold i'm hoping to see this market still you know keep um you know bearing all the way down to the 194 1914.13 zone so i'm pretty bearish on the um on, on gold okay so at this point if you're here to subscribe to this channel i don't know what you are waiting for subscribe to this channel like right away i do this every single week a lot of people keep reaching out to me on my dms telling me how much money they're making with my weekly signal with my weekly um you know analysis and forecast on this channel so you do not want to be missing out of the amazing thing so like this video subscribe and drop a comment like right now drop a comment drop a comment let the comment ring on the comment section okay and if you want to learn how i do this analysis every single week i have a full program it's a one-time payment one-off payment and you have lifetime access to my training program the training program takes you from every single thing you need to know about forex even if you know nothing about forex in fact the program is would be would pr probably beginners will even enjoy the program and much more than you know uh, experience trader but however the, tra the training program is all encompassing whether you're a beginner whether you're a struggling trader whether you're even a profitable trader but you're not consistently profitable because one of the things i try as much as possible to handle in the program is trading psychology and risk management this is a part that a lot of traders don't know and they keep missing what you don't understand is that trading psychology makes up 70 percent of your trading um you know the pro profitability of your trade is 70 percent dependent on your trading psychology 20 percent on your risk management and 10 percent strategy okay so if you don't know the things i teach on the program you'll be missing out on a whole lot so the link is on the description description grab the program right now so i love you guys keep trading join the telegram channel let's see on the telegram channel i'll probably drop signals on this uh, trading setups um come this week okay so this nfv week like i said stay safe i love you guys have a wonderful time trading and goodbye